Hi there, I'm Angie Cummings from KV and Sussex Sleep Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how to use your home sleep apnea test. When you get home with your package, inside you're going to find a few things. You're going to find some paperwork to complete, your registration form, and a medical information form. On the medical information form, you'll need to measure around your neck. So we have also included a measuring tape. Please measure it in inches, not pulling too tightly, and you can keep this at home. We don't want it back, okay? We've also included a diary for you to fill out after your first night of your sleep study and your second night of your sleep study, so we know how you made out. I'm now going to show you how to put your sleep study device on. You're going to see it's a little box with a few things attached. It may arrive with the belt plugged into one side already. What you do is place the little white box on the front and bring the belt, the belt around your body and plug it into the other side. You will have to adjust the belt a little bit. You might want to do this before you plug it in. It is adjustable. Make sure that the belt is right around your rib cage. You can test out to see if it's tight enough by taking a big breath in and out. And if you feel it give a bit of a stretch, then you know it's working. It tells us when, we're take, when you're taking a breath in and out. So when you take a breath, the belt will stretch and tell the little box that you've taken a breath. Also, when you have both sides of the belt plugged in, that tells the machine to start recording. You do not need to press any buttons on the machine. There is a button on the front, don't touch it, just leave it alone. And you'll see some lights along the top, don't worry about the lights, okay? There's nothing you need to do about those. The next thing you do is take the nasal cannula, which is right here, and you'll see it's got a little bit of a curve to it. These curve into your nostrils, like this, and they tell us when you're breathing in and out and when you're snoring. Tuck those into your nostrils. The cord goes around the back of your ears, like this, and there's a little slider that slides it snugly up under your chin. Now, that's not going to stay in place all night. We've included some tape as well, so you can take some tape and tape it nice and high on your cheeks. Use two pieces of tape for each side so you ensure it doesn't come out. You really don't want to do the test again if you don't have to. So two pieces of tape on each side. So the belt was number one, the prongs are number two, and number three is the finger probe. This is going to tell us your oxygen level and your heart rate all night. Put your finger in here, either your pointer or your middle finger on either hand, with the cord on the top, take some of the tape we've supplied and tape it twice to the top of your finger. Don't wrap it all the way around. You don't want to cut the blood supply off and tape it to the back of your hand as well. You don't want your finger sticking out the end just to the very end of it. Make sure that's nice and secure. It's a very important thing that we need to see your oxygen level and your heart rate. With your sleep study, we need to have a minimum of four hours through the night. However, it's best if you wear it all night long. Even if in the morning you feel like, oh, I'm just going to lay here for another hour, that's often when we get our best data. So leave it on until you feel like you're out of bed for the day. If you have to get up and go to the washroom through the night, just get up and go to the washroom. We can tell when you're up walking around and any data that happens at that time is disregarded. When you get up in the morning, all you need to do is disconnect one side of the belt, take off your cannula, and take off your finger probe, and put it to the side for the next day. Do it your second night. After your second night, you can unscrew the nasal cannula from the top of the box and throw this in the garbage. We don't want this part back. Take the rest of it. Pop it in the bag, don't forget your paperwork, and drop it back off to the office between 8.30 and 9.30. Within a week or a week and a half, we will call you with the results of your sleep study, and then we'll send them to your doctor as well. 
If something happens with the sleep study and it needs to be repeated, we'll contact you right away so that you'll know it needs to be repeated. But if you tape everything down nicely, there shouldn't be a problem. So I think that's it. Um, oh, one thing I forgot, make sure you wear a shirt under the belt or a nightgown under the belt. So thank you for choosing Sussex and KV Sleep Clinic for doing your sleep study. We really look forward to working with you.